Hello students, today we are going to learn Avery McLeod and McCarthy's experiment. As the name suggests, this experiment was performed by three scientists, Avery, McLeod and McCarthy. For their experiment, they used lysate of smooth strain of Streptococcus pneumoniae, which was heat killed, and rough strain of Streptococcus pneumoniae. They did not use any mouse. Let us understand details of Avery, McLeod and McCarthy's experiment. Here you see they used lysate of heat killed smooth strain of Streptococcus pneumoniae. So what is this lysate? Lysate is obtained by breaking up the cells of heat killed Streptococcus pneumoniae and this lysate contains different cellular components of heat killed Streptococcus pneumoniae. Let us understand what are those cellular components of heat killed Streptococcus pneumoniae seen in lysate. Here you see the lysate contains polysaccharide coat of heat killed Streptococcus pneumoniae. The lysate contains protein, DNA and RNA of heat killed Streptococcus pneumoniae. This lysate was mixed with rough strain. Here you will see this is the rough strain and as I have mentioned earlier while teaching you Griffith's experiment, rough strain is devoid of any polysaccharide coat. So there is absence of polysaccharide coat as you can see and when this was, this rough strain was mixed with the lysate of heat killed smooth strain of Streptococcus pneumoniae the rough strain got converted into smooth strain. Here you see this rough strain as I have told you got converted into smooth strain. Now what is the difference between rough strain and smooth strain? As I have shown you here rough strain is not having polysaccharide coat we call it as capsule but when it gets converted into smooth strain here you see it develops polysaccharide coat around it and this synthesis of polysaccharide coat around it is because of entry of transforming principle into it and what is this transforming principle was found out by Avery, McLeod and McCarthy. Let us see how they found it out. So here, Avery, McLeod and McCarthy, after getting the lysate, they introduced one enzyme in the lysate and that enzyme cleaved the sugar or polysaccharide coat of heat killed Streptococcus pneumoniae. Here you can see, this is the enzyme. You can see the enzyme is digesting the polysaccharide coat. So there is no sugar in this lysate. Now, after getting this lysate free of sugar or polysaccharide, they mix this lysate with the rough strain. So here you see the lysate without polysaccharide is mixed with rough strain and when it was mixed with rough strain, the rough strain here, rough strain got converted into smooth strain. They observed that transformation occurred even in absence of polysaccharide coat. So they concluded that polysaccharide or sugar is not at all responsible for transformation. In next step, they added another enzyme to this lysate and the enzyme added was protease. So what is protease? Protease is an enzyme that hydrolyzes protein or it digests the protein. And the proteases used by Avery, McLeod and McCarthy were trypsin and chymotrypsin. Here you will see, so here you see the trypsin is added and after that chymotrypsin is added. So when these two enzymes were added into the lysate, what this enzyme did, they digested all proteins that are found in lysate. So here you see once again this trypsin and chymotrypsin are digesting the protein. Now 
after getting the lysate free of protein what they did they mixed this lysate without polysaccharide without proteins with the rough strain here you will see the lysate is being mixed with rough strain and the transformation was observed so let's see if the transformation occurred so when rough strain as you can see over here without polysaccharide coat was mixed with this lysate containing only dna and rna and is without polysaccharide and protein what happened here you see rough strain got converted into smooth strain so here you see the polysaccharide coat is synthesized and that is because of entry of transforming principle into rough strain making the rough strain capable of synthesizing a polysaccharide coat around it as a result getting converted into smooth strain so here they concluded that addition of protease into the lysate did not inhibit the process of transformation in other words the process of transformation continued even in the absence of proteins so proteins are not transforming principle they are not even a genetic material so let us go and study the next step of their experiment so here what has been done so far a lysate containing no polysaccharide no protein when it was mixed with rough strain the transformation was observed so so far it can be concluded that the dna or rna are responsible for transforming principle so in order to confirm whether it is dna or rna that acts as a transforming principle every macleod and mccarthy purified nucleic acids that is dna and rna from lysate by addition of ethanol so here you see ethanol is being added over here and this ethanol precipitated the nucleic acids so here you see this is the precipitate of nucleic acids that contain both rna as well as dna after that this precipitate was taken and it was dissolved so here you will see the precipitate is taken out and it is dissolved and a solution of nucleic acid containing dna and rna was obtained now to this enzyme rna was added so here you see rna is added to the mixture of dna and rna rna is a hydrolytic enzyme that specifically hydrolyzes or digests the rna molecules leaving the dna intact so here you will see this rna is cleaving or digesting the rna molecules so here once again you can see rna is digesting the rna molecules so now the lysate is totally free of proteins rna and polysaccharide or sugars now it is only having dna so after having the lysate with only dna they mixed this with the rough strain here you will see the lysate without rna without proteins without polysaccharide coat was mixed with rough strain here you see the lysate is being mixed with the rough strain that contains only dna and after mixing the rough strain got converted into smooth strain so they concluded that when the dna containing lysate was mixed with rough strain the dna entered the rough strain and made the rough strain capable of synthesizing the polysaccharide or polysaccharide coat around it and thus the transformation is caused by dna and this was confirmed by addition of an enzyme called dna into the lysate so here you will see the enzyme dna is added and this dna what it does it is again a enzyme that degrades a that degrades the dna molecule so here you will see this dna is degrading the d 
DNA of smooth strain which was heat killed. Now this solution without DNA was mixed with rough strain and after mixing no transformation was observed. So here you see the R strain is being mixed with the solution containing no DNA. So here R strain okay, which is devoid of polysaccharide coat as you can see did not convert into smooth strain because DNA isn't there in the solution so it couldn't enter the R strain and convert it into smooth strain. This is how they confirmed that the biochemical nature of transforming principle is nucleic acid that is DNA and DNA also acts as genetic material. But many of the biologists did not get convinced about DNA being genetic material. They still believed that it is the protein that acts as a genetic material. So in order to avoid confusion whether it is DNA or protein acting as a genetic material, Another experiment was done by two scientists, Hershey and Chase. That experiment we are going to learn in the next video. Thank you very much.